First is what is cost behavior or behavior of cost. Cost behavior is how a specific cost respond to changes in the level of business activity or production. Changes in the level or volume activity is correlated with changes in cost. Okay class, in this, we will have to determine what are the classification of cost behavior. Cost can be classified into three behavior categories in response to changes in activity levels. First, variable cost. Next, fixed cost behavior. And next, the mixed cost. Mixed cost can also be called semi-variable or semi-fixed cost. Why? Because mixed cost has a component of a variable cost and a component of a fixed cost. Let us have an illustration on variable cost and fixed cost. For airline companies, the longer the flight, the higher the fuel cost. So here class, the fuel cost, this is a variable cost. Why? Because the fuel cost is determined by the mileage of the flight. Okay? Next is for hospitals. The cost of staff at the emergency room on any given time are relatively constant regardless of the number of patients treated. In this case, the cost of staff remain constant so that is why it is a fixed cost. Okay? Now let us discuss uh, the details of variable cost. A variable cost is a cost whose total amount varies in proportion to changes in the level of activity. So the total amount of the variable cost will vary in direct proportion to the level of activity. Like in manufacturing business, direct materials is a good example of proportionately variable cost because the amount used will vary in direct proportion to the level of production activity. If we are in manufacturing business, engaged in manufacturing table, we will be needing woods and paint, okay, lumber. And then if we are going to manufacture 500 tables, we will be needing materials, lumber, and paint that is good for 500. However, if we are going to manufacture 10,000 tables, we will be needing lumber and paint that is good for 10,000 tables. So in this case class, if the level increases by 10%, the total variable cost will likewise increase by 10% there is a direct proportion, okay? So if the level decreases by 25%, then the total variable cost will likewise decrease by 25%, okay? Let us now discuss fixed cost. Fixed cost that remain constant in total amount. So the total amount of fixed cost will remain constant even when the level of production increases or decreases, okay? So, take note again, fixed cost remains constant, even activity changes. It follows that fixed cost per unit vary inversely with activity. This means that your unit cost decreases if your activity activity increases, okay? As volume increases, unit cost declines and vice versa. So let us illustrate variable cost versus fixed cost. Cool Music Company produces stereo sound systems. The parts for the Cool Music stereos is 400 per unit. So here, if we are producing five units, 100 units, 1,000 units, 
our variable cost, the total variable cost will be dependent on the number of units. So here in this case, our total variable cost is 2,000 for 5 units. And for 100 units, our total variable cost is 40,000. And for 1,000, our total variable cost is 400. So if production increases, our total variable cost will likewise increase in direct proportion. Okay? And take note, our cost per unit remain constant. Okay? That is variable cost. Here, fixed cost. The production supervisor for Infinity Perfume is paid 360000 per year. The plant produces from 50,000 to 300,000 bottles of perfume. So the number of bottles ranges from 50,000 to 300,000. So let us have three levels of production. Okay? And the total cost, irrespective of the number of bottles, will remain constant at 360,000. Okay? Same. However, our cost per unit will be decreasing. So the cost per unit is decreasing, okay, class, uh, which is wherein the number of production increases and the cost per unit per unit decreases. Why? Because the 360,000 will be uh, spread over the 50,000 units, so you will have 720 per unit for the uh, salary of the uh, production supervisor. In this case, they were able to produce 100,000, so the 360,000 divided by the number of bottles of 100,000 will give you 360. Similarly, the 360,000 here divided by the number of units produced, which is 300,000, you will get cost per unit of 120. Okay, let us move on. Now let us take a look of the mixed cost. A mixed cost has both fixed and variable components. One of the examples is our utility cost. Our utility cost has a fixed cost component, the base, and uh, it has a variable cost component, which is the kilowatt hour that we have used. Okay, so this is our variable cost and this is the fixed cost. Okay, so utility cost is an example of a mixed cost. Okay, let us have an illustration of this mixed cost. If your fixed monthly utility, utility charge is 500, your variable cost is 50 per kilowatt hour, and your monthly activity is 2,000 kilowatt hours, the amount of your utility, utility bill will be expressed as, uh, we will have Y as the amount of utility bill. A will be your fixed cost, which is uh, the monthly utility charge of 500, and B is the rate per kilowatt hour, and X is the number of kilowatt hours. Substituting it with the uh, amounts here, and our utility bill will be, doing the mathematical calculation, will be 1,500. Okay? Okay, class, let us take a look again of our manufacturing costs. And uh, we have to determine what is the behavior of our manufacturing cost. We have uh, already discussed that the, the elements of manufacturing cost are direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Now, we will determine what is the behavior of direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. We have already discussed that direct materials is a variable cost, okay? And for direct labor, it is also 
a variable cost. Why? Because if we are going to manufacture 10 tables, we only need direct labor that is good for 10 tables. However, if we will increase the production to 2,000 tables, we should ha hire a direct labor that will do the 2,000 production. Okay? And for factory overhead, it depends on what type of factory overhead. For indirect materials, indirect labor, tools, and supplies, it is variable cost. However, for certain type of factory overhead like insurance and building, depreciation, property taxes, rent, plant manager salary, these are fixed costs. Okay? Okay, class. So, what is mixed cost? These are certain types of factory overhead and these are electricity, inspectors, wages, machine repairs. And these are some of the examples of mixed cost or semi-variable or semi-fixed cost. Okay? Okay, class. Let us have an analysis of mixed cost. Mixed cost for... Um, analysis of cost, we have to segregate the fixed component and the variable cost component of the mixed cost in performing an analysis of cost. Okay, so the methods of analyzing mixed cost are first the high-low method. High-low method compares the higher production volume and its related cost with the low production volume and its related cost. So we are making a comparison of the volume and cost of high and low. Okay? So that is why it is called high-low method. The other method is scatter graph method and the other one is least squares regression method. For this class, we are going to study only the high-low method, okay? Okay, class, the steps in high and low method is this. First, determine variable cost per unit. We can do this by comparing the high and low and get the difference. So you are going to get the variable cost per unit comparing the high cost minus the low cost and the high production or activity minus the low activity. In this, you will be able to get the difference and then divide the cost, the difference in cost with the difference in activity. Then you will get the variable cost per unit. Okay? After that, you will determine fixed cost. In determining fixed cost, the formula is the total cost less variable cost at either high or low activity level. You were able to get the variable cost per unit, so now you will be able to determine the total variable cost. Okay? So here, this is how you are going to do this. So meaning the total cost, either you can use the high activity or the low activity, less the variable cost, which wherein you can compute it, the variable cost per unit that you have derived from number one, multiply by the uh, production or the level of activity, and you will get the fixed cost. Whether you are going to use the high activity or low activity, you will have the same amount of fixed cost. Okay, let us have an illustration. Overhead costs were incurred at two levels of production. Level of production, 1,000 units and 2,000 units. And these are your costs. Depreciation, 2,000 at 1,000 units and 2,000 at 2,000 units. Electricity, 3,000 at 1,000 units and 5,000 at 2,000 units and factory supplies 1,000 at 1,000 units and 2,000 at 2,000 units. What is required? Required variable cost component 
of the mixed cost. Next, fixed cost component of the mixed cost. Then, total factory overhead for 4,000 units and the corresponding unit cost. So these are the things that are required in the problem. Okay, the first thing that we have to do is determine mixed cost. Okay, because this is what is required by the problem. So here, the cost depreciation at 1,000 units is 2,000. At 2,000 units is 2,000. There's no change in the level of production. The cost remains constant. So this is fixed cost. Oh, by the way, 2,000 units is our high level and 1,000 units is our low level of production. So in this case, again, class, depreciation is fixed cost. Now, electricity. 1,000 units, 3,000, 2,000 units, 5,000. Okay, the thing that we can uh, do to check whether this is uh, fixed or variable, first, if it is the same, that will be fixed. But this is different. So there is, there is a change of cost in the level uh, due to the change in the production. So we have to determine what kind of change. Uh, is it direct proportion or not? So we have to get the unit price. So 3,000 divided by 1,000 will give you 3 per unit. 5,000 divided by 2,000 will give you 250. So it means that it is not direct proportion. So in this case, we can say that electricity is mixed cost because it changes uh, based on the level of production, but it is not in direct proportion. Let us take a look of factory supplies. 1,000 for 1,000 units. When we will, we will divide 1,000 by 1,000 units, we will get 1. And 2,000 divided by 2,000 units, we will also get 1. So there is a direct proportion. So in this case, factory supplies is a variable cost, okay? So here, class, we were able to identify that the variable, that the mixed cost on this is electricity, okay? So now we will do uh, segregating the variable cost component of the mixed cost and the fixed cost component. So to do that, we will be using the high-low method. Okay, this is what we have. And the mixed cost is electricity, required variable cost component of the mixed cost. And our formula is variable cost per unit is equivalent to high cost minus low cost, high production minus low production. So here we will get the cost and the production and high and low okay so the cost for high this is our high is 5000 and the production is 2000 units okay and for the low this is our low the cost for electricity is 3000 and the production is 1000 okay we will get the difference 5000 minus 3 will get 2000 2,000 minus 1,000 will get 1,000. And do the mathematical calculation. 2,000 divided by 1,000. So we will get 2 pesos per unit. So our variable cost per unit is equivalent to 2 pesos per unit. Okay? Next, we will get the fixed cost component of the mixed cost. Okay? So here, our formula is total cost less variable cost will give you your fixed cost, okay? Our total cost using the uh, high production is 5,000, right? And now, how much is our variable cost? Our variable cost is 5,000. We derive that to the, um, the per unit that we derive in number one times 2,000 units will give us 4,000. So in this case, our fixed cost is 1,000. If we will use the uh, low production of 1,000 units, so here our total cost 
is 3,000. Then 2 times 1,000 will give you 2,000 as our variable cost. And our fixed cost is also at 1,000. Okay? Whatever you are going to use, whether the high production or low production, you, uh, the calculated fixed cost will be the same. Okay, so the answer, the fixed cost component of mixed cost is 1,000. And now, the total factory overhead for 4,000 units and the corresponding unit cost. This is what we have, and our... Uh, cost are depreciation, electricity, and factory supplies, okay? So we were asked to get the total cost for 4,000 units. So class, we have to determine all the costs. Depreciation is a fixed cost, so we will have 2,000. Then this is our mixed cost, right, class? And our mixed cost is a... There is a component of variable and fixed cost. So let us determine first the variable cost component. Okay, so with this, we have the variable cost per unit of two. This is how much we have calculated. And we are producing 4,000 units. So the total variable cost is 8,000. And we have uh, computed that the fixed cost component is 1,000. So our electricity for 4,000 units is 9,000. And here, factory supplies, this is variable cost, so direct proportion. So we are producing 4,000 units and one uh, per unit, so we will have 4,000 here as our factory supplies. So if we are going to get the total uh, factory overhead, will be for 1,000 units, the total factory overhead is 6,000. For 2,000 units, the total factory overhead is 9,000. And for the required 4,000 units, the total factory overhead is 15,000. And if we are going to determine the cost per unit, 6,000 divided by 1,000 will give you 6 pesos per unit. 9,000 divided by 2,000 will give you 450 per unit and 15,000 divided by 4,000 units will give you 3.75 per unit. Okay, class, take note that the more uh, we produce, the uh, lesser unit cost. Why? Because of the fixed cost component, we are spreading it with the number of units, okay? For the variable cost, there is a direct proportion, so it is not affecting the unit cost, okay, class? So, class, that's it for our topic. So, if you have questions, please let me know, okay, class? Uh, just uh, give me a message if you have questions. Stay safe, class, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.